Okay, so um, today I'm going to show you how to use RAM disk and run Minecraft off of it for no lag. Okay, so if I could show you, I would show you my terrible, buggy, awful laptop that I hate to use because it has Intel Pentium dual core from like 2007. But it does run Windows 7. So anyway, it's not gaming, it's mostly for surfing and typing for school projects. But anyway, with, um, I cannot run Minecraft that well. Like, I have to suffer through terrible lag. And what I'm going to show you is a program called RamDisk. Okay, anyway, RAM just takes your spare, basically your free, the, um, okay, here, this is better. RAM just creates a virtual RAM drive or block of memory, which your computer treats as if it was a disk drive. By storing files and programs into memory, you can speed up internet load times and disk to disk activities, accelerate database, and reduce compile times. Save and load and allow RAM just to appear as a persistent storage, even through reboots. So, basically, it helps it run, but it, you, you, you'll see a difference, but it's not gonna make, you know, your Minecraft pimped, whatever. Okay, so first step for me is opening RAM disk. So I'm going to look and I'm going to open RAM disk. Hmm, Minecraft seems to be down. Anyway, I'm going to open RAM disk. And RAM disk is basically, you can't use any of these until you've made a RAM disk. So I'm going to make a disk. Create a disk with new settings. You can create a disk from a deceptor file or create a disk from an Indian file if you want, but I'm just going to create a disk file now. Okay, I'm going to make it that's default. I'm just going to keep it on default. You can pick any letter you want. That impressed me. Okay, you can make it temporary. I recommend this for the first time, so if you fuck up really, really bad, you can just, you know, do it later. Alright, so you, here's the thing you have to do. You have to balance it between balance it between how much RAM you want it to use and how big your um, drive is going to be. If you do it like this, it's going to lag really, really bad. Or so and so. So I'm just going to keep it somewhere right here. And I am going to create next. Um, you can choose FAT222, FAT, or NTSF, cluster size if you want. And I'm going to do this tut. Okay, create temp folder automatically. No. It's just because I'm, you know, I'll do it. Okay, create custom folding this accordingly. Alright. No. I'll just do that later. Okay, so we can finish. And we will exit. And it will say autoplay because it looks like you've acquired a disk drive. Open files to key files. Okay, so basically, computer, you're going to have 638 MB. 638. That's pretty good. All right, now we're going to do the hard part, which is getting Minecraft to not be stupid. Minecraft.net. Hopefully, it will load this time. I wonder if I could just get it from... Yeah, I'll just do it from here. This is ah, uh, is it? Is it? Yes, it is. If you're playing the demo, it does. It doesn't really matter. It's download. Okay, this is computer. Tight. And then you're gonna. Oh wait, sorry. Don't run it. Just open in folder as you can see I've done this a couple times and we're going to drag it put it in temp that makes it easier okay so now you can close everything out and run Minecraft I'm sorry, it should pop up. Oh, I should have. Okay, that's going to be censored as I don't want this to be hexed. Hmm, try again. We'll just play off for now.
motion. Okay, as I said before, it's not going to significantly boost it, so I keep mine on regular for now. This computer um, used to have problems whenever I would play Minecraft, like it would skip around, there would be really terrible frames and whatnot, but now, hopefully, it won't, as I said before. You will experience lag at the first part, as you always do with any Minecraft load. No, it is going to lag a lot for more for me, because I'm running Camtasia at the same time. So I'm just going to go to this, this, um, video bobbing off, articles, minimal, and I'll put it on tiny. It's a little better, but I mean I'm not going to run this while I'm running Camtasia, obviously, because that would be stupid. Okay, and that's pretty much how you do it. Thanks for watching.